you know if you've been keeping up with the channel, Shane Dawson is having a really rough week as tons and tons of old and to be honest disturbing stuff is coming out about him. And now it looks like there are some serious consequences with his finances. Hey what's up Iris, it's Mackenzie here and today on the channel I'm going to be filling you in on some new updates with Dramageddon 2 or Carmageddon if you prefer that one, I've seen that online. But first I want to address that I'm now back in the studio. Guys I can't even tell you how like strange this feels, like it's good, but it's strange, it's wild. Anyway, <laughs> happy to be here. But now to dive right into the tea. Some users discovered yesterday that the conspiracy collaboration Shane Dawson did with Jeffree Star last year that literally broke the internet is no longer being sold on Morphe's online store. And this is really shocking because Morphe was very involved in the development of the collection. And I believe it was sold exclusively at their stores too. Even though the items in the collection were essentially as valuable as gold to customers a few months ago, when you now search them up on Morphe's website, Nothing comes up. This all happened when a video of Shane um, to a poster of Willow Smith started making its rounds online. And the heat got so bad that both Jada and Jaden Smith smoked out on Twitter, condemning Shane Dawson by name. Now I'm not gonna show you the video, but you can definitely find it on Twitter if you search it up. And after this started to pick up attention in the mainstream media, a change.org petition started going around asking for brands to cut ties with both Shane and Jeffrey for their past. Right now the petition has 12,000 signatures. But coincidentally, Jeffrey's stuff is still on the website. It's just Shane's that has been removed. Even though Jeffrey has basically just as bad of a past as Shane in my opinion, but Morphe is actually not the only one. Target recently came out that they were also gonna be cutting ties with Dawson. Target confirmed to Insider that it would no longer be selling Dawson's books called I Hate My Selfie, a collection of essays by Shane Dawson, and it gets worse, a collection of essays. Saying further on the matter, quote, we're committed to creating an experience in which all guests feel welcomed and respected, a representative said. They continued, we're in the process of removing these books from our assortment. And honestly, I still just cannot believe how fast this is all happening when just a few months back, the conspiracy launch was basically the biggest launch in makeup history so far. And now the whole thing is crumbling. I honestly didn't think Jeffrey would drop Shane through all this, but now that he's not making him any money anymore, and actually probably losing him money, we might actually see Jeffrey even publicly turn on Shane. And if that happens, we will definitely keep you up to date on this channel, don't you worry. And an even stranger thing that just happened is Shane actually deleted over 1 billion views from his channel over the past week which would mean potentially hundreds of his old videos are gone. So to be honest, I feel more stuff could be coming out soon that was in those old videos. But honestly, this whole thing, all I keep thinking about is how Shane said James needed a slice of humble pie the size of the Empire State Building, and now it kinda seems like that's actually what's happening to him right now. Cause I'd say what's happening with Shane has now officially surpassed the original Dramageddon. Let me know below if you agree with that. Okay, but before I go, I'm gonna shout out a few comments from my celebrities that dated their fans video. So Bema B said, uh-oh, the Jenna Marbles comment didn't age well. Ugh, I hate when that happens. But considering her apology was incredibly genuine and sincere, I'll, I'll still say she's a lot less problematic than a lot of other people on the platform. Then Thomas said, Jonas Brothers at height of popularity, tours, movies, TV shows, Jonas Brothers now, Kevin narrates Thomas the Tank and an audio book. You know what, they're just still so wholesome, like they just can't even help it. They're the best, I love them, forever will stand. Then Jane said, your Kanye is waiting for you, <laughs> shivers in fear. Okay, say what you want about Kanye, but he is literally obsessed with his wife and adores her more than I think anything, more than himself, which is like, doesn't happen often, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't actually want Kanye Kanye, but how much she loves Kim, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay guys, so that's all for me. Make sure to leave a comment below that you want me to see and you might be featured in my next video. Thanks so much for watching if you made it all the way here. And if you're new here, make sure to go down below and subscribe to never miss one of our juicy uploads just like this one. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.